Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The United States Congress established the National Park Service as part of the Organic Act signed into law by President Woodrow Wilson 100 years ago today, on August 25, 1916. Though individual national parks, such as Yellowstone, already existed, the Organic Act created an overarching system for national parks within the Department of Interior and led to the iconic Arrowhead logo and the distinctive flat hat worn by park rangers today at more than 400 natural and historical units of the National Park Service, from Maine to Hawaii and Alaska to the Caribbean. Stephen Mather, the first director of the National Park Service, said, the parks do not belong to one state or to one section. The Yosemite, the Yellowstone, the Grand Canyon are national properties in which every citizen has a vested interest. They belong as much to the man of Massachusetts, of Michigan, of Florida, as they do to the people of California, of Wyoming, and of Arizona. American novelist Wallace Stegner once said, National parks are the best idea we ever had. Absolutely American, absolutely democratic. They reflect us at our best rather than our worst. The historical importance of Natchez, Mississippi has been recognized by two national parks that bear its name. On May 18, 1938, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the legislation that created the Natchez Trace Parkway that stretches nearly 450 miles from Natchez, Mississippi to Nashville, Tennessee. Then on October 7, 1988, President Ronald Reagan signed the law creating Natchez National Historical Park that preserves historic sites within the city itself. I'm Kathleen Bond, the proud superintendent of Natchez National Historical Park. Our park staff has done an amazing job of supporting the National Park Service Centennial and the Natchez Tricentennial. As part of those efforts, this has been your Natchez History Minute.